Hello, everyone. We're in the cool marine climate of the Pacific Northwest, an ideal region for growing raspberries, with over 73 million pounds produced annually on 8,800 acres of land. Washington State accounts for more than 40% of U.S. raspberry production. In 2024, the United States produced 181 million pounds of raspberries. Most of Washington's production is centered around Linden, in the northwest corner of the state, bordering Canada's major raspberry production area in the Fraser Valley. While raspberries are harvested in the summer, the process of caring for and growing the plants happens year-round. Raspberry plants are perennials, producing fruit every summer. The soil is carefully tilled and irrigated, and the plants are pruned and fertilized to ensure a bountiful harvest. Raspberries are not only a favorite fruit for desserts, jams, or smoothies, but also the result of hard work, advanced technology, and a love for agriculture. Today, we'll explore the journey of raspberries, from planting to reaching consumers worldwide. It all begins in the spring. Before planting, the soil is meticulously prepared, tilled, tested for nutrients, and equipped with drip irrigation systems to conserve water and protect the environment. Planting a raspberry field requires careful planning. Posts and wires to support the raspberry plants are installed in the field, along with water tubes for irrigation as the plants grow. Ensuring the soil is ready for raspberries is a crucial step. Raspberry plants are sourced from specialized nurseries and planted in the spring. It takes a full year for the plants to grow large enough to produce harvestable fruit. The rows in raspberry fields are spaced 10 feet apart. This distance allows harvesters and tractors to move between rows while being close enough to maximize yield from a field. Raspberries, like all fruits, start as flowers on the plant. These are pollinated by bees and other insects, eventually forming fruit. Initially, the berries are green and hard, gradually turning red and juicy as they produce more sugar. Different raspberry varieties yield fruit of varying sizes and shades of red, In Washington State, raspberries bear fruit as the weather warms in the summer, ripening over several weeks. When the raspberries are sweet, red, and juicy, it's time to harvest typically in late June or early July. Machines have been used for decades to harvest raspberries. These harvesters are specially designed to pick high-quality fruit without damaging the plants or berries. On a typical harvester, two rows of fiberglass rods shake the plant on both sides, causing only ripe raspberries to fall. Ripe red raspberries drop right off the plant and are caught by the harvester. 
green, unripe berries remain on the plant. The harvester returns to the same field two or three days later when more berries have ripened. As the berries fall, they land on a conveyor belt that carries them to the top of the harvester, where fans remove sticks and leaves, and workers perform a final inspection, discarding leaves, unripe berries, or anything else besides red berries. At the end of the conveyor, the berries fall into plastic trays called flats. Using flats instead of buckets prevents the berries from being crushed. When the harvester reaches the end of a row, the flats are loaded onto a truck and taken to the processing plant. Only a few hours pass between the berries falling off the plant and being cooled to maintain their freshness. At the processing plant, the raspberries are ready for processing. The flats are emptied onto a conveyor belt, continuously screened to ensure no bad berries pass through. Empty flats are washed and returned to farmers for new berries. Next, the berries are washed by a machine with tubes spraying water containing 10, to 12 parts per million chlorine, removing any remaining dirt or debris. After washing, workers manually inspect each berry, removing dirty, white, squished, or moldy ones to ensure only high-quality fruit remains. Cleanliness is a top priority. After manual sorting, the raspberries are transferred to a cross conveyor filling 28-pound buckets. The berries are weighed to ensure the correct weight, sealed, and labeled with details about the batch, field, size, and more. These buckets are stacked into 64-pound pallets, secured, and placed in cold storage. Trucks leave within two hours. Some raspberries are individually quick-frozen IQF. These berries are carefully sorted before freezing as they are fragile and difficult to keep intact. They pass through an ultra-cold freezer while being tossed by air jets, freezing them solid without losing juice or flavor and preventing them from sticking together. IQF raspberries are boxed or mixed with other berries and sold in packs, perfect for ice cream or smoothies. Other raspberries are used to make puree, like a raspberry sauce. Sometimes the seeds are strained out, and the puree is poured into pails or large barrels. Puree can be used for various recipes, like jams, cookies, bars, and pies. Some raspberries are used to make raspberry juice. Raspberry juice has a strong flavor, so it's often blended with other juices, such as cran raspberry or pear juice, to create the delicious Whatcom Red.
about 20% of Washington's raspberries are not used for concentrated juice. The harvest and packing season is vibrant every summer. Farmers and workers toil to provide high-quality red raspberries to consumers worldwide. After the harvest, raspberry plants are pruned and tied like a haircut for the plants, cleaning them up and protecting them during the cold winter. Raspberry plants grow long stems called canes, which are green and fruitless in their first year. After growing all year and enduring the cold winter, green canes turn brown and hard. In spring, they sprout new green leaves and branches, bearing fruit in summer. In fall, after the summer harvest, old brown canes die and are cut down, while new green canes grown since spring are tied to wires to prepare for next year's fruit. Each raspberry is a testament to hard work, technology, and a love for agriculture. At farms like these, Farmers not only grow raspberries, but also preserve a tradition, create jobs, support sustainable agriculture, ensure opportunities for future generations, and deliver high-quality products to consumers worldwide. Enjoy the sweet taste of raspberries and appreciate the journey behind them. We hope you enjoyed this fascinating journey of raspberry harvesting and processing. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share with fellow agriculture enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories about modern farming worldwide. See you in the next episode.